Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. A work tough gear Wednesday, favorite day of the week. Uh, yes, I did start it. Thank you very much. I like throwing that out there. I'm not an attention hound. I promise I'm not. I kind of am, but that's okay. So happy work tough gear Wednesday. This is the Red Wolf. It was designed by the owner of Work Tough Gear, Vic Lynn, awesome dude. But really, guys, honestly, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Vic is an amazing designer. Dude's awesome. I asked him, and I, I point blank asked him not too long ago. I said, Vic, why don't we just go back to more of your designs? No shade on any other designer, not any, not any. But let's do a let's do a few months of just your designs. Let's get some of those out there. And he said, Brother, I love seeing designers dreams come true that spoke to me man as as a dude who would rather shout out a channel than 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 tell you about my channel and and do that we we're kindred spirits there and that really spoke to me but now all bullshit aside vic we need about a year of vic lynn's designs he does knives that work i mean look at this thing let's just look at it man I'm going to give y'all some, some uh, specs. It is a drop point. It's in SK85. The blade thickness is 0.149 in inches. It is a 56 to 58 HRC. The overall length is 10.15 inches. I love that. That's just like an awesome length right there for a belt knife. The blade length is 5 inches. The cutting edge is 5 inches. That means the handle length is 5.15 inches with well over a four inch inner grip. Very important measurement there. Now, a couple of differences here. Most work tough gears are saber ground with a micro convex cutting edge. On this one, it just says saber ground. So I'd, I'd be curious there to see uh, if, if that was put in before they started doing that or if that's just part of the design of the knife. It does not hinder the cutting at all. And if you're new here, here's what we do. I ramble while the, knife, while the knife's being shown working. Um, I do advocate if my voice gets on your nerves and it does a lot of people, turn the volume down. But don't cheat yourself out of watching this knife work. Um, as a guy who thoroughly understands, thoroughly understands, the knife is only as good as the user or the reviewer's skill set. I want you to know that I don't claim to be an expert in any way, uh, and you can tell that right off the rip, I'm sure, but I do my best to give you every look at this knife I can. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but it is a skeletonized handle. This is a lightweight knife. Now, uh, it did not have a weight listed, so when I get home, I will throw it on the scale and I will pin a comment, comment with the actual weight and the the full uh, inner grip. Those are two things that I think are very important. It does come with a Kydex sheath, okay? Now, I'll say this, and, and I'll be real honest with you. Guys, nine times out of 10, if, if it's a Kydex sheath, it's 10 out of 10. I stick it on the inside of my belt. I just do. I've always carried knives like that. I enjoy carrying knives like that. So for me, that Kydex sheath is perfect, and Vic does an amazing job there. I tried to show you the retention and lock up up front. What I wanted to do with this knife is what I do with every work tough gear knife. I wanted to give you a good look at its cutting capability. We do a lot of batoning, but I spread it out. Now, a lot of times, a lot of times I'll open with something like I open with a knife throwing and open with the tip test. Those were actually done at the end of the video. Everything else in this video though is in sequential order. If you pick up where the paper cutting on, that's all sequential. I think that's important and I'll tell you why. As a knife reviewer, I try to be very, very, very careful, very careful of how I present things. It would be easy to be and, and not even on purpose. If you're not careful, if you put things out of a certain order, it doesn't give you the best look at the knife. So I try to go se sequentially. The other, and the reason I'm mentioning that is because several different times we do different types of batani. Now, let me say this very clearly. I 
use the materials around me, the mediums around me. I'm going to have to take a baton to work. I just don't have a heavier one. I don't really have time to whip one up at work either. Um, I try to do everything either before work, on break, at lunch, or after work. I don't do anything on the clock. It's just not right. It's really not. Um, so I have a limited amount of time. But what I've found, and, and I wanted to cover this, what I've found is once I get in a rhythm, I know the time frame I have to do the video, I think I can give us a pretty good look, and I'll tell you what that does. It cuts out a lot of the bullshit for me, right? The rambling, the just walking, the, the looking for stuff. I've got stuff where I need it, and we jump on it. We're going to do a little pinch cut here. I try to attack knives like this really more from a cutting standpoint than anything else, and it would have been really great if I'd have held the bottle up there. My apologies there. But like trying to pinch grip trying a, a fencing grip, doing a chest lever pull, those kind of things. Just kind of seeing what the knife can do and seeing the different hand positions. I'm going to be honest with you, this one is insanely comfortable. It's just very comfortable. I, Work to Gear does a really good job with their handles. They just do. Because it's a skeletonized tang, I'm really curious on the weight. It has a phenomenal balance point. Now, the reason I mentioned taking the baton to work, and you'll be able to see it here, I was able to get it to a certain point, but because you don't have a super heavy knife, and that piece of wood's about shot, I got into a wood knot. I mean, right on top of a wood knot. And so, here's the deal. It's not about hurting the edge. It's not about chipping the edge. I think the edge will hold up just fine. I tried to do enough. Uh, during this video to show pretty good edge retention of the blade and the, 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 the strength of the edge. But what happens is with batoning, if you don't have a heavy enough baton, you're just hitting a knife. I mean, it wouldn't move, right? I like doing this little test right here. Basically, that's foam. It's easy to stab into, but I like doing that to see if it hangs up coming out. One of the big things everybody always asks with a knife, is it good for self-defense? Well, if you stab something and it gets caught up, it ain't good. This one slid in and out very nicely. It has a small, and I mean ever so slight, sharpening choil. You can kind of see it there, but it doesn't get in the way at all. And I'll tell you why I like that sharpening choil is doing stuff like this that's kind of stupid. When you do just hard use batoning and you're slamming the knife in, that little bit of a bend there in the knife really, really, really dissipates the harmonics so we're not doing long-term damage. And I, I need to tell you right now, I don't do a ton of, of real life batoning. I do it for the video. I do it to show that the, the toughness of the edge, the toughness of the knife, etc. But in real life, I don't do a lot of it. I, I just have no need, to be honest with you. When we go camping, I take the correct tools. And, and guys, listen to me, please. If I ever come off like a smart ass or a know-it-all in these videos, it is not intentional. Sometimes I hear my own damn self talk and think, man, you're a smart ass. And I'm not trying to be. And Megatron says, the harder I try not to be, the worse it gets. So please, please understand when I'm talking uh, in these videos and things like that, it's just me. The other side is, man, I've worked construction for 35 years. We talk shit. That's why I like when I did a short today, it's not about trolls. I could give a damn about a troll. I've got bigger life issues to worry about than trolls, man. But if they say something, I'm saying something back. I've done it for 35 years. You don't just swap overnight. But I'm saying that not at trolls, but at subscribers. I know sometimes I come off a certain way. And I want y'all to know I am so appreciative for you. Y'all have no idea. Uh, I mean, honestly, man, how appreciative I am for you guys. You put up with the redundancy. You watch basically the same video over and over and over. And you're still there supporting you're still there, and I appreciate you. I didn't plan to go this way, and I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take away from this knife. 
because the Red Wolf is a phenomenal, phenomenal belt knife. I, I love it. But I just wanted to let y'all know, man, I appreciate you. Guys, before we wrap this up, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, stats are everywhere. We talk about it all the time. The actual numbers between 15 and 29. That's why here on this channel, we focus on the number zero. Anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. Guys, I'm back to blue. I know that's a tough one for some folks to swallow, and uh, I, I have my reasons. I, I'm not going to argue with you about it. These are my causes. Uh, I don't have them to cause dissent or aggravation. I have my reasons that I've stated many, many times. I'm not here to shove it down your throat. How do you do it, Scab? Well, I don't break the damn law. And finally, finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So, I know that the Red Wolf has dropped. Guys, I know too, Check Knife Center DLT Trading. Um, I know that when I talked to Mr. Vic about a month ago, he was committed, or two months ago, he was absolutely committed to making more knives this year and bringing more avenues and ways of you to get them. Okay, I know it's frustrating. I know it is, but I know he's frustrated as well and trying to make as many knives as he can. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, be 100% honest with you. If this one pops up, jump on it. I'm just telling you, I have thoroughly, and I mean thoroughly, enjoyed using this knife. Now, I didn't cut paper like I normally do at the end. When I get home, before I do anything else with this blade, I will slice up some paper so you can kind of have an after action report. The edge is still very, very sharp, but I like to show you where we're at. We open with paper, we close with paper. Well, guys, overall, I love this knife. It's just straight up badassery, son. That's the only way I know to put it. But listen, remember this. I'm scabbed. You're not. And I'm gone, son. Love y'all.